So, last time um, we looked at um, the graph of y equal x squared. Let's look at it again. This is y equal x squared. So, if we look at that, y is equal to x to the power of 2. That's the graph we see. Alright. Make it thicker. And uh, you'll be able to see it better. This is the graph. Y is equal to x squared. Now, let's make a little modification. Suppose I want the graph y equals e y equals x squared plus 3 we saw that last time and what it would look like is this let me modify this y is equal to x squared plus 3 and notice what happened the graph jumps upwards 3 places right this was right here and it jumps up jumped up three places you see that let's put it back where it was y equal x squared you see where it was let's use a different graph and put in y is equal to x squared plus let me you let me modify this all right let me change the color I want let me use a greenish or bluish color blue is a little bit easier to see no this is y is equal to x squared plus 3 what about y is equal to x squared minus 3 we looked at this already we looked at this already let's look at this y equals x squared minus 3 when you have y is equal to x squared minus 3, what happens? Let me change this from plus 3 to minus 3. You remember that? The point moved downwards. This point was at 0 and it comes down to, to negative 3 because you said minus 3. Notice it moved 1, 2, 3 places down. Here move one, two, three places down. All the points move three places down. But now, let's see something. Let's make another modification. Let's get rid of this. I want to see the graph. Y equals. Now, you notice the x squared was by itself and the plus three put aside. Now, suppose we put the plus 3 inside the square so that we have x plus 3 squared. Instead of x squared plus 3, we have x plus 3 squared. What would happen? Let's see. I'll modify this. Remember, I want the black one, the original one, to remain in place. Let's modify this and say instead of x squared plus 3, what we have is x plus 3 and squared. x plus 3 in brackets and that are squared. No, I had 
see now I can press equal instead of 3 let's do that again x plus 3 close bracket squared good ah no this is x plus 3 squared it had moved the original to the left you probably are wondering how is it that it need move to the right because it said plus 3 when you said plus 3 it moved on the y-axis upwards in the positive direction when you say x plus 3 squared it moved to the left right if you plot it if you plot that graph x plus 3 r squared you will see that it moved to the left all right now this is x squared and this is x plus 3 squared because if the graph was here x plus 3 squared then what it would do is plus 3 would move back to the original position this is the graph and it would be x plus 3 squared that would move to the right to go to the original position all right so it didn't move from here over to the right because this is x plus 3 squared so this here x plus 3 squared if you remove the 3 it will go over to the right if you plot it you will see that that's what we have and then the other thing I want to do let's get rid of this one is say x minus 3 squared so y equals x minus 3 r squared let's modify the graph and see what would happen there the blue graph I will change it from x plus 3 squared to x minus 3 squared you notice what happens it's over to the right so basically x plus 3 r squared move the graph to the left x minus 3 r squared move the graph to the right just plot it and you will see all right so that is what we look at at this point you can plot the graph you will see that x squared plus 3 move the graph up towards x squared minus 3 move the graph downwards x plus 3 squared move the graph three places to the left so let me say that again x squared plus 3 move the graph three places up x squared minus 3 move the graph three places down x plus 3 r squared move the graph three places to the left x minus 3 r squared move the graph three places to the right if it was plus 2 it would move two places one would move it one place and so on and so forth all right so that's how the modification of the graph or that's how it behaves We'll look at this in some more detail at another time.